hole. It'll help me of all time. A lot better. I don't mean what you're going to do. Where are we going to get this thing on the blue zipper lift? But we. Are well, going I have to no do idea it. either. Me either. <laughs> This didn't break. It's beyond me. Dug in a little bit, but it didn't break. The rope did. So the plan is, since it's Sunday today, we'll get stronger rope tomorrow and give it another try. All right, what are we doing? Lifting the windmill. How are we lifting the windmill? Rope. What's it supposed to do? Pull and not break like yesterday. So what exactly have you rigged up here? I've got better rope than yesterday. Breaking strength is 265 pounds. I'd like heavier rope, but unfortunately the store didn't have. So we have tripled it up. So our force on our rope shouldn't be much more than 100 pounds per string. So we'll give it a shot.
What's up guys? So I just finished work, got home and uh, really half-assed rigged this up with a couple morettes to see if it would work. But uh, I just tried to hook up the turbine. There we go. For the first time. Like guys, you don't even know. It has been a struggle over here. We never have power in the evenings. It's been so incredibly cloudy. Like, so cloudy. Really nice. Having a father that A, owns a scissor lift, and B, is willing to climb up there in a windy day after a day's work and try and not die <laughs> and get it up there. That's awesome. You have no idea how happy I am to see that. This has been a lot of fun. This has been a challenge, but uh, we got it here. So here's to the next step in our journey living off the grid, self-sufficient, one more step in the right direction. So we'll see what this does to make life a little bit more bearable without having unlimited power at the flick of a switch. And there's the wind. <laughs> 